Well, hi there, everyone. This is Scott, and today I'm doing something that I've never done before, and I thought I would do a video as I do it. I'm going to attempt to spatchcock a turkey. Now, before I get too far into this, you should know um, I hate cooking. <laughs> I don't enjoy it. It frustrates me. I just cook because there's something I want to eat. Um, so, there's been all this talk about spatchcocking, so I'm like, all right, let's see what it's all about. Now, what I've already done, a few things. The first thing I did and is I dry brined the turkey. Now this comes from, there's a group that, that does a blog called Serious Eats, seriouseats.com, and they do good work. I like what they talk about, I like how they talk about things. And so they talked about you doing dry brine, where instead of soaking it in water, you um, sprinkle it with a combination of mostly salt and some uh, baking powder. I don't know how this works. Magic, I guess. Um, but it's been dry brining overnight. And so I took the turkey was a fresh turkey, dry brined it overnight. And now I'm going to start following the instructions. So they say to do this, you wipe down the turkey. So that's what I'm doing. And it says to rub all surfaces. And, and I don't I don't like this. This it makes me nervous and frustrated. Cooking has never been something I'm any good at. Um, in fact, I've had to look online three or four times just to help myself understand where I think the backbone is on this thing. Yeah. Anyway, so it says wipe it down and then to rub oil all over it. So do I spatchcock it first before doing that? Probably because um, I'm worried that if I, I rub the oil on it first, it's going to get slippery, and that doesn't sound good. So I need to get some scissors or kitchen shears. The idea behind this is you're supposed to cut out the backbone of the turkey, and then you're going to put it up flat on your cooking surface. Um, so and then you you cut off the fat Ugh, too. And again, this is not something that I do that I like to do, but I thought. Heck, I've never done it before. I thought I'd make a video as I did it, just so that you can, um, and then let you know how easy or hard this actually is with someone who doesn't do this kind of thing. So, I guess the first thing I got to figure out is where the backbone is. So these are the wingies, and that's where his head was. Gobble gobble. Um, so I guess this is the backbone here. So let's see if we can figure this one out. Ugh. Um, okay. So we got some legs there. So what I'm faced with here is just a fairly hard surface. I guess, is this the backbone? Okay, so I guess maybe I'll work from this end since I have a way in already. So they say what you do is you cut up either side of the backbone and you'll flatten out the turkey and you remove the fat while you're at it. So there's a bunch of fat right around here. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that out get rid of that stuff. Oh, why, I think I left some of the presents inside. I got out the neck, but there's more. I didn't realize that. Okay, well, here. Ooh, it's a present. It's like Christmas morning. Ooh, I wonder what it is. It's stuff I'm going to deal with. I don't get this cooking thing. Maybe you can help me understand what's fun about it. Um, anyway, all right, so I'm going in. I'm trying to figure this one out. I don't want to screw it up, because this is like our Thanksgiving. If I mess it up, I mean, it's like, ugh, I messed it up. So that, I'm pretty sure that's the backbone, this thing I got here. Maybe not. Maybe that's the neck. See, I don't understand. Well, that's obviously not the breast. The breast is on this front part here. Um, so, I guess we'll see what we can do. This doesn't look right. I think I'm going to go up the other side, like so. Now, I'm looking, I got the legs here. I don't even know where to start. <laughs> Cooking is hard. I mean, how much of this is backbone? Maybe I'll go back on this side, because I feel comfortable I know where that part is.
So I guess there's a gap there. So we're going to go ahead and cut. I don't know what I'm doing. So I'm cutting, and I'm cutting into stuff. I don't know what this stuff is. Maybe I get rid of more of this fat, and I can see what's happening. Because I can't even see what's going on in there. Um, okay, all right. So that helped. Cutting away some of that fat helped. Because there's like a fat thing here. Oh, this is the is this the wishbone side? They said you're supposed to take out the wishbone too. Um, I don't know what this is. That what this is? doing here okay so I guess we're gonna go for this <clears throat> this is ridiculous I can see all the way through so I feel good about that what I'm not so good on is you know am I supposed to be cutting through things here It's helping me see what's going on here. Maybe it's getting rid of wonderful stuff. I don't know. But I'm going to go on the other side a little bit too. Just to see if I can figure out what I'm supposed to be doing. Because I really don't know. Am I going too far over? Alright, so I have something coming up here. I guess that's it. Um... I'm cutting on either side of this thing. Okay, so what's up? I don't know. So I continue doing this for, oh, about another 10 minutes, trying to slowly work my way up either side of the backbone. I seem to be facing like this wall of, of bone and stuff here, and I don't even know where to start on that side. So I guess I'm going to continue on this side, because at least I, f I feel like I've identified something. Um, I have little shards of bone now sticking up, which I don't know if that's what it's supposed to do, if that's how this is supposed to work. Um, I don't understand. Ooh, careful. Start bleeding, which would be bad. Um, there's more fat and goo and crap. I mean, times like this, I'm like, yeah, vegetarianism isn't so bad. There's more fat that I can cut off. Okay. Here we go, back into it. And yet again, here we go, and I have another, oh, ten minutes or so, sped up, of trying to fight my way through this turkey. Urgh. finding a shape here let me show you what I'm up against so we came up the back side and we pulled this off so that's good I think that's good but now here's what I don't understand so I'm guessing I'm guessing that's the backbone here I guess that's what's got to go so I'm cutting into here and it's just the whole thing's solid and I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to be doing well maybe I'll poke at this way See, if I think that's the backbone, what if I just run right upside it there? Oh, is that my figuring something out here? Is it not as solid as it first appeared? Oh, okay. Okay, so it isn't as solid as it first appeared, but it's not a very big gap. But there is a gap that kind of you carved right through for a little while. Oh, okay. All right. Well, that's it. Okay, I think I got it. <laughs> I think I got something. I think. All right. Let me show you what I got, just so that if you're doing this. So, 
what I figured out right on that backbone thing, if you poke around, there's a little gap there, and that does come cleanly through for a little while. And so I think that's a good thing. So I've mangled the hell. Here's this rib cage sticking up. I guess, I don't know if I'm supposed to do that, but I don't know. It's not in my manual. Okay, so I guess I should have gone I mean, the first time going up this side that looked like an impenetrable wall really isn't. There's there's a little gap in there and you can get the thing. Okay, well, you know, that's why I'm making this video, so that you can learn from my failures. I seem to be very close, actually. Yay, success! We have half the cut out. Okay, now we gotta work on the other side. So I'm now gonna hope that I'm going to find a similar little, yeah, okay, so that's it, that's the trick, you poke around and there's a, there's a gap there that you can go in and, um, and get in on, and that gap, then you work with it, and then you kind of work your way up that gap, okay. See, I don't get the pleasure in this. I don't I don't understand where everyone's saying, wow, this is so much fun. I mean, this is not fun for me. You know, I just got Sunset Overdrive for Black Friday on a sale. I could be playing that right now instead of swearing at a turkey. <laughs> I'm hitting some things that are really hard to cut through. And I don't know whether I'm going on the wrong side of them. Um, I'm not sure what I've done here. But you know what? We're just going to force it out. Okay, there it is. Ah, fatality. <laughs> so this apparently is going to be put somewhere for gravy work. Get some oil going. We're start with oil. Oh, okay, we're going to put a lot of oil all over the turkey. <laughs> okay, then. Hey, why not? This is the last wish. Okay, so we're going to flip it over, and I might as well just put it on this rack now. All right, here we go. So the whole thing. Oh, you're supposed to flip it over and break its back. That's right. <sighs> Oh, see, it's, obviously I disconnected something that shouldn't have been disconnected because this guy is loose now, and it probably should not be. Oh, well. Oh, well. So you flip him over, and we're going to bring his back a little bit. So this part you push down the middle while I'm breaking other things, and then I'm breaking his back. <laughs> Put the oil on quite yet, eh? So, I know these are supposed to break, and now I'm getting no break. <laughs> it's just easy, that's all. Just blue, blue, blue. Shut up. Okay, there. No, no, this is not breaking. I mean, the video is making it just like it goes, and you're done. Nope, it's not going. So, <laughs> I don't know what's going on here. I think I'm going to take it off this rack. I think that's causing some issues. So I'll get rid of this. I'll get back into it. But you're going down, bird. <laughs> so it's supposed to be spreading out now. Nice and easy. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> this is ridiculous. <sighs> Don't believe it. Don't believe the hype. Do I stop? Do I keep... No. Oh, oh, the wing bone. The wing thing. Okay, I gotta get that out. Wishbone. That's it. Yeah, that was a step. I forgot. That's in the front part here. 
I'm, I don't see it at the moment, but I'm hoping once I cut into this, I can feel it. Aha! Here we go. All right, I gotta cut that out more. So the thing they don't show you on all the videos is that you really do have to get physical when you're doing this. This is not subtle or easy. This is a pain. So I don't, I don't resist the wishbone. There's something in there. I think it feels like it. I don't know though. It seems big. Yeah, I guess that's it. Just being held on by cartilage and stuff. So you gotta cut it away. Chop away. Okay. I'm probably gonna break the damn thing. Well, there I am again with my foul language. Okay, so. Ah! Uh, okay, we got something here. I guess you just cut and chop and <laughs> I don't have any clue what I'm doing. There we go. All right, so now that should hopefully make this a little easier. Oh, there. Yeah, okay. So take the wishbone out. Yeah. Although it's still pretty tough in here. I'm going to chop a little bit. It feels like it kind of went you know, on one side. Um, not straight down the middle. All right, well, I guess we're getting somewhere. This is a total mess. This is coming off, and this dude's coming off, and all that stuff. Okay, so I guess we're going to spread them out. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Okay. All right. So now I've flattened it out. It doesn't look very good. It's just like, bleh. oh well. Now I know the wingies go under the top like that. Oh, I need to oil it still. Okay, come here. Let's get his wingie under here. Uh, that's hard. Actually, he does not want to do that. He says, no. Nah. Okay, in fact, the bones. <sighs> Trying to get the wingtip shoved under the bird and it ain't going very easily. Okay. More oil. Wash the tricky hands. Got some oil going. Okay, got some oil. Oil, 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 the skin. Oh, not too much oil. Because we're going to fry our turkey. That's right. Just that easy. Okay, so now I'm going to transfer it to my pan here, my cooking pan. Okay, that's gonna fall off. This is only me held on my skin at the moment. <laughs> Crap. Oh my gosh. Here's the crazy thing. There's only two of us. And we have a bird that's eight million pounds. I don't understand. Oh well. So, that is it, I guess. Um, let me get the camera and show you what I've done. Oh, they say to salt and pepper it, but not if you brine it. So since I dry brined it, I've got none. I'll just put on some pepper. Okay, well here's what we got. So I kind of squished it flat. It's kind of, you know, skin's not completely covering everything. That's probably going to be ruined. This is loose. Ah, uh, so I don't know. Cooking is hard. I think that's what I should call my cooking series. Cooking is hard. Because it is. So, pepper. And you know, I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit more salt on it. Just because. Okay. So I think that's it. So now this goes in the oven for 80 minutes. And I will show you what it's like when it's done. There's no magic turkey here, by the way. I'm not going to put this in and pull out this beautiful turkey. I'm going to put this in, and then I'm going to start the timer, shut off the camera, and wait. Actually, no, I'm going to make the gravy, because that's the next thing I tell you to do. No, okay. A 
also hate it whenever I put aluminum foil around something and then I put it in the, the oven and all aluminum foil comes off the bottom. I hate cooking. Anyway, see you in a bit. Okay, so we've pulled the turkey out. Here's how she looks. I had to cook it for an additional 10 minutes. It, the temperature wasn't right the first time, so I left it in for a little longer. And now it's ready. Um, I guess the next step is, well, so that's the idea is you're supposed to get this really crisp skin. That's what people are excited about. Um, so now I'm going to transfer it to another baking rack, let it cool for 20 minutes, and then we'll cut it up, and then we'll eat it. And I'll let you know how it tastes. Okay, so we've uh, had the turkeys now been resting for 20 minutes. Um, there we go. It's time to chop her up and have some food. So now there's tricks to this. And again, I don't know any of them. That's the first thing I got to do is get over to the cutting board. Oh, the first thing I got to do is get a plate where all this is going to go. Well, these things are coming off pretty easily. These this dark meat thing, so I'll take that off. And oh, some of the skin came off. That's too bad, I just have to eat that. So, here's the skin. Mmm, it's very crispy. That's pretty good. I'll show ya. So you got crunchy skin here. That's nice. Greasy. So they said with these things, oh boy, I'm not going to cut the whole thing up because there's only two of us, so we really just need half. We got a wing here, which I guess we can cut into pieces. There's a wing, we got a, a leg, which I guess we separate from the rest of this. So, I have no idea where I should be cutting these things. I really don't understand how the turkeys are put together. So I guess I have to kind of find the joint and pull and look for where I might be able to cut through it. Nope. How do they make those nice little drumsticks anyway? Obviously not like this. See, now it's the opposite. Now, before it was cold, now it's hot. So I have no idea how to actually separate these two pieces together. So instead of just chop at it. They say it just, you find the spot, and it, I just don't know where these spots are. Again, this is not something I have any experience with, so I just thought I'd show you what it's like for someone who has no idea what he's doing to try and do the spatchcocking thing. Okay, so now we've got breaking. That's good. Oh, is it that bone thing there? Okay, there. We got a bone stick. Now, I think this bone thing is supposed to come out. There's meat on that. I'll just put that on there. There's some more meat. I have no idea what I'm doing. So I guess I'll just eat this. So it is very tasty, it's very juicy. That's for sure. Very nice. Not breast. I guess I gotta cut it down the middle. And separate the breast from the rest of it. You can hear it crunch, which that's cool. There's the breast bone thing. Okay. So I'm just going to carve half of it because it's only two of us, so we'll save the rest of our later. <laughs> no idea what I'm doing. So here I'm suffering from the fact that the whole thing kind of tilted and is, is listing to the side. Um, supposed to be able to pull these breasts off in nice little pieces. Again, I might be attacking it from the wrong side. 
There's some crispy skin that needs to be eaten. Literally. Now you got this thing here. Okay. So it looks like it wants to give. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> don't know what I'm doing. There's some white meat. I'll try that. Mmm. Okay. It's really good. I can see why you do this. Honestly, this is one of the better turkeys I've had. Um, and it cooked quickly, 90 minutes or so, to cook it. The spatchcocking was half an hour. And there's this, you know, the butchery, which Scott is awful at. No idea what I'm doing. So there's this arm thing here. I guess that would be called the wing in bird speak. That comes apart somehow from the rest of it. Okay. This is kind of coming apart, I guess. Okay, so there's a breast. Okay, that's going to come off. I'm not sure. I'm supposed to do something fancy here, like separate the breast nicely from the middle. Okay, so there's your breast meat. Um, I'm wondering if it's almost a little underdone there in the middle. There's a little pinkish stuff. I mean, there's white stuff, so I'm assuming that's going to be fine. As the temperature would tell you. So I'm still trying to separate this guy from the rest of the bird. Okay. Now we're getting somewhere. Okay. Okay. So this half I'm just going to put right back on the thing because we don't need that. Now here's the breast. I mean, I did use a thermometer, and it, it came up more higher than the recommended temperature, so um, I might have just plowed it into a bone doing that. Oh, well. Okay, so now we're getting some parts off. There's some parts. See, this is the <laughs> unpleasantness, and I have no idea what I'm doing. Um, so I'm just kind of pulling off parts of the turkey that look like we're going to eat them, I'm putting those on the platter. And there's some, you can't forget the skin. That's kind of the best part here. Ooh, hot. There. All right, so you're done. I guess this is a nice drumstick. See, aren't I good, Carver? Oops. Oh, well. We'll just, <laughs> we'll just kind of make that look pretty. There. Get rid of that thing. Okay. That's more carcass. And then, so it's not beautiful. Oh well. Let's chop this into some pieces here. There's one. There's one. There's a piece. There's some skin that goes with that piece. We have half the bird that's not touched yet, because there's only two of us, so I only carved half. Half the bird that's well butchered, because I don't know what I'm doing. But I have to say, the the skin, very crispy. The meat's tasty. I think I would actually do this again. So for Scott the Not Cook from the I Hate Cooking show, which I should be talking about board games, I will let you go. I'm going to go have dinner. Bye-bye.